Welcome to All Real Estate All the Time with Whitney Nicely. Whitney is the principal broker for Whitney Buys Houses and the principal auctioneer for Nicely Done Auctions. She owns a real estate portfolio, including land, houses, and apartment buildings across East Tennessee. Whitney will teach you how to purchase real estate for profit and help you achieve lifelong goals. You don't need to be a real estate agent to be a good real estate investor. And now the star of her own show, Whitney Nicely. Hello, hello, good morning, good afternoon, whenever you're listening, hello, hello, and I am the star of this show. I like to think I'm the leading lady of my own life, in well, fact. you are. <laughs> uh, that was a movie. What was it? Um, oh, the lady, I'll think of this later, but she said that you should be the leading lady of your own life. Yeah. I think it was The Holiday. With Cameron Diaz, the English woman said that. Anyway, I am the leading lady of my own life, and I like to make things up as we go. I also like to keep it fun and exciting. <laughs> Julie is in the studio with me today. Say hello. Hi, Knoxville. And we are talking about landlording all day, every day, but uh. especially today. And we're going to cover <laughs> some of the pros and cons to landlording. We're going to talk about how if you're a mom paw landlord, so you're not a licensed real estate professional, you're a mom paw. That's what we're going to call you is mom paw landlording. And there's a good chance that you're wasting some money. Yes. There's a good chance that you could be making more money even if you don't want to hire a property manager. So we're going to talk about that. We're also going to talk about some red flags. So if you're a mom paw investor or your mom pa landlord and you want to know you know quickly how you can screen people before you waste your time to even go show them your beautiful place you can do that on the phone a lot of times so we're going to talk about some of that and if we get time julie just bought a new house she is a Woo! real investor but she also buys primary residences <laughs> which is different from me i live in one of my mom's rental houses <laughs> which i love it i absolutely love it but that takes me out of the primary residence shopper category so I probably am not a very good opinion on that. But that's why we have Julie here today. Yay! Um, and then we, we'll probably come up with a couple other fun stories to go through today. And we'll make sure to give them a light bulb somehow or another. Landlording always brings up fun stories. Fun stories. <laughs> War stories. Yes. From the trenches. Depends on what your idea of fun is, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I think landlording is fun. I, I agree. For at least five minutes a day, I think it's yeah, fun. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> And yes. here we are at the beginning of the month, so I think it's really fun. It's really ex extremely fun right now. Everybody paid. I know, yeah. That's when it's a fun month, when everybody pays. So let, let's talk about some of the pros and cons. Let, let's, start, let's start with a pro. What's a pro for landlording? Money. <laughs> money, honey. It's yes. all in the money, honey. I, I completely agree. Well, why else would you do it? Bragging rights? I don't know. You got to make money. It, it, in investment properties, you may not make money immediately, but in the future, the goal is to make money. What? You don't make money immediately? I thought I'd be a millionaire in my first $100,000 house. <laughs> well, no. You got <laughs> but, a mortgage to pay off probably first, <laughs> and then you start really cash flowing. You, you can cash flow in the beginning, but you're not going to make a million dollars on it. Okay, so cash flowing. Let, let's just talk about that. Let's, let's talk about the difference in cash flow. Okay. okay, and the example that I have used on the radio before, and I use this when I teach classes too, is let's say you can buy a $100,000 house. In Knoxville, you can probably go out today, find a $100,000 house sure. that you can rent. You could probably also find a quadplex yes. for $100,000. Yes. And a lot of people aren't going to realize this, and they're not going to believe this, but in my example that I do all the time, you can buy a house for $100,000. How much are you going to rent it for? Ballpark it for me. Anywhere in Knoxville, how much are you going to rent it for? Eight fifty to nine fifty. Okay. Eight, let's call it nine hundred. Okay. Yep, nine hundred. Nine hundred split the difference. Okay, so a hundred thousand dollar house, we're going to rent it to one family for nine hundred dollars a month, right? Yes. Or with a quadplex, we can buy it for a hundred thousand dollars, and a quadplex is four units under the same roof. So four addresses, four meters, four um, Direct TV accounts. Yes. four families under the same roof how much are we going to rent each unit for every month in our quadplex in knoxville ballpark it 700 700 okay so in our single family house we're getting 900 dollars a month and in our quadplex we're getting 700 times four exactly so automatically before you even do anything else you're looking at 900 dollars versus 
four times seven hundred. I went to Powell. What is <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Is that twenty eight hundred? Twenty eight hundred. Okay, so people listening, I don't care if you're from Powell or not. Do you want nine hundred dollars a month or do you want twenty eight hundred dollars with a month? Say it with me. You want more money. Yes. <laughs> Always more money. <laughs> you always want more money. So if you have the choice between buying a hundred thousand dollar house and getting nine hundred bucks a month, which is great, cool, fun, whatever. Yeah. Lots of people do that. Or you can buy a quadplex for the same money and make what is that, like almost three times yeah. as much yeah. a month? Yep. It's get, over three times. Get the quadplex. Come on, guys, get the quadplex. If you're gonna make more money, get the quadplex. Yes. Okay, now let okay, so cash flow. That was the word that we were working on, yes. right? So just off the bat, we're cash flowing money on this quadplex. Yes. Okay, let, let's break this down just a little bit more. And so I can really hammer in on this. If you have one person renting this house mm-hmm. and they don't pay you that month, what happens? Ouch. You got to stroke that mortgage payment anyway. Yeah. So you're stroking your mortgage payment and now your rental property's mortgage payment. Right. If you have a quadplex and you have four people living in it and one person doesn't pay what happens you're still collecting rent from the other three units you're okay so you're still cash flowing yes okay so now we're winning on two different things if i had a board here i'd give us two wins under the quadplex and none for the single family house so I, I really feel like whitney loves quadplexes <laughs> i do i'm so <laughs> i'm <obsessed>. getting that feeling <laughs> i'm so obsessed with quadplexes or tenplexes <laughs> or 20 units or whatever i just it's not that I hate houses. It's just that I love quadplexes. More money. <laughs> it's I, more I understand. Money. Yep. It's more money. Okay. So we're bringing in more money. Let's talk about taxes and insurance. Okay. You have a house and it rents for $900 a month. You have a quadplex. It rents for $2,800 a month. It's worth $100,000. That's what you bought it for. They're both worth $100,000. So how much are your taxes and insurance every year? Similar. They're pretty much the same. Yeah. They're going to be within $10 or $20 the same yeah. okay everything being equal in the same zip code and everything across knox county they're basically going to be the same but again you have one person chipping in right towards your taxes and insurance or you have four people chipping in yep. towards your taxes and insurance so what do you want four duh quadplex come on guys stop <laughs> buying houses to rent them out <laughs> or if you or have- don't <laughs> That's that's bad advice. <laughs> Some of us have to make a living, Whitney. I'm trying to make a living here too. <laughs> I want more money. <laughs> Show me the money. Exactly. Exactly. Show me the money. And it's in quadplexes. It's not in houses. Every time somebody says that they want to be a, a landlord and they want 50 houses, I'm like, Ugh, have you thought about quadplexes? Work. Yeah. <laughs> because you only need like four of those. <laughs> right. That's 16, but whatever. I'm from Pal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now let's talk about Murphy. In the house, in the quadplex, I mean, the toilet got stopped up. Somebody's kid flushed something, the toilet got stopped up, and it's going to cost probably the same to send the plumber out, right? It is. However, the tenant with the kid flushing toys down the toilet would be responsible for that charge okay in my world <laughs> as long as they're paying their rent then they're probably able to play, pay the plumber but if they that left teaches a lesson <laughs> yes it does it does <laughs> julie's hard on her tenants <laughs> yeah there's piggy banks yeah. yeah make the kid pay for it <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> okay so if murphy happens again you got one person who is chipping in on your mortgage your taxes your insurance and now you want them to also chip in on murphy in that 900 dollars. how far does that 900 dollars go not that far again though if you have four people chipping in somebody can handle the mortgage payment somebody handles the taxes and insurance somebody handles murphy and then that fourth person when they pay that goes straight in hip national bank that goes right in my pocket right <laughs> that is where i am making the money because if i have one house yes and 900 bucks that sounds good until you divide it out even just over four different ways yep. you got to pay your mortgage you yep. got to pay taxes you got to pay insurance and you got to cover murphy also we you know in murphy if nothing happens this month great congratulations put that fair Woo-hoo! share towards the roof Yes. Because you're going to have to replace the roof eventually. If you're not saving for it now, it's going to be a very bad day. Keep any extra that you're going to get. It's just smart to put that back. Save it for a rainy day. Because 
if it can't happen, it will. And if it starts raining real hard, that roof's going to leak sooner than you yeah. thought it was. <laughs> and then, you know, if, if the kid didn't flush the toy this month, next month, it's going to happen. Twice. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, what I'm saying is, if you want to buy a house and you want to be a landlord, or if you've inherited a house and you don't want to be a landlord, you can hire a property manager and let Julie deal with all this stuff. Yes. You can call Whitney Buys Houses and I'll buy it. I love houses that people are just tired of being landlords on. In fact, that's how I got the house in Fountain City. It was a nice couple. They had good credit. They actually moved to Powell and had this house left in Fountain City that they didn't want anymore. So I bought it for what they owed on it. And I've got people, I mean, just crawling all over it, trying to get in to do a rent to own on it. Yeah. It's fabulous. So they were just tired of being landlords. And they called me. I don't understand it. <laughs> Whitney buys houses, 865-309-4500. And while I'm thinking about it, if you need some gravel for your driveway, call Walker's Truck Contractors, 865-933-0225.